friends, I am here to perform uh, the pleasant and obligatory duty of uh, proposing a word of thanks, first of all, to Professor Lawrence Summers himself. As you know, you know you've read uh, his interviews in the media, interviews on television. Most of those interviews, and perhaps all those interviews, focused on uh, economic matters. Of course, India's potential to grow 8%, 9%, all that. I was surprised that uh, very few interviewers focused on education. And therefore, we had decided much earlier that we would have Lawrence Summers to speak to us on uh, challenges in higher education, reinventing the university. We are truly grateful to you, sir, for delivering a very stimulating, thought-provoking talk. You have really challenged us, and you have challenged India to think big. Not many people have been saying that higher education should be an area of export for India. Not many people have been telling us that we should be attracting thousands, tens of thousands of American students to come and study here. You have made us think big, think out of the box. India has the potential and India must become the, the center of higher learning in the years to come. Requires enormous amount of reforms at all levels. There's so much focus on economic reforms and so little on education reforms. Your, your talk has certainly provoked us to think in this direction. Thank you very much, Professor Larry Summers. <laughs> Professor Sanjay Deshmukh is, of course, a co-organizer of uh, this event. Nevertheless, I must thank him. Professor Sanjay Deshmukh has been a well-wisher of the Observer Research Foundation for many years. Thank you, Professor Deshmukh. There's one thing common between Professor Deshmukh and uh, Professor Larry Summers' friends. Professor Larry Summers was, and he still has the distinction of being the youngest president of Harvard University. And Professor Sanjay Deshmukh has the distinction of being the youngest vice chancellor of Mumbai University. We would like to partner with Mumbai University on a continued basis. We must work together to regain, to help Mumbai University regain its glory. There is one person, friends, that I must thank who has made this event possible. That's Sri N.K. Singh former Member of Parliament, former Secretary to Prime Minister, my colleague in the Prime Minister's office. It's Sri N.K. Singh who suggested to us at the Observer Research Foundation that we should invite him when he's in Mumbai to deliver a talk. Thank you, Nanduji. I'm so happy, friends, to see so many distinguished uh, citizens of Mumbai we have the venerable Kohli Saab, whose association with education is so inspiring. Can you believe he is 90 plus and he is still here because of his passion for education? And we've had the honor of being guided by him in producing a report. My colleague Lina Aparna. They worked on a report, a landmark report, on how the College of Engineering Pune was transformed using autonomy, a point
Larry Summers emphasized how autonomy can be transformational and how using the model of College of Engineering Pune, we can have dozens of other existing engineering colleges raised to the level of IITs. I hope that the government of Maharashtra takes due note of this report. We had uh, Professor Anand here from IIT, former director of IIT Madras, Suhas Pednekar, principal of Ruya College, which has been recognized. The only college, friends, we should be proud in Mumbai, the only college recognized by the University Grants Commission as a center of excellence in India. We have Dr. Suhasini Nagda, who heads the major hospitals, municipal hospitals in Mumbai. We've had, we have uh, Srimati Manisha Varma and Professor Venktesh, who have a very challenging responsibility of implementing the RUSA mission in Maharashtra. We have Professor Uday Salonke, who has taken Wellinkar Institute to a, a new height, made it a center of excellence. We have Ashank Desai, who has given leadership to the IIT movement from IIT Bombay. And of course, friends, I must very pleasantly recognize the presence here of uh, His Excellency Mr. Zhang Xuan, Consul General of China. You know, China is one country which is addressing the challenges of both equity and excellence simultaneously. And we have a lot to learn from China. Of course, we have a lot to learn from the United States of America. We have to learn from all countries in the world, big or small. But our neighbor, China, has made some remarkable progress in reaching higher education to more and more people and also building some universities that are world class. This morning, Professor Summers visited the Office of Observer, Observer Research Foundation. We had a very stimulating meeting, discussion with him. And he made one remark that's really stuck in my mind. He said, the task of Indian universities is to discover Ramanujams in every field. There, is, there are so many Ramanujams who are hidden in this population of 1.3 billion. And it is a task of colleges and universities to identify them, to enable them, to empower them, so that the world recognizes their greatness. We have a challenge on the one hand to pursue excellence, but we have an equally onerous challenge of addressing question of equity. 1.3 billion people, every single Indian must have the right to access education, education that is appropriate to him or her. We can't be saying that everyone have, must have the same education. No, that's not possible. But whatever they wish to pursue, they must have opportunities. And higher education, the bottleneck that Professor Sanjay Deshmukh mentioned earlier, only 7% of our undergraduates having an opportunity to go to postgraduate studies and an even smaller number that goes into research, whether it's basic research that you mentioned, emphasized Professor Summers, or innovation, applied research. We have a lot to do in expanding access to higher education. All our 700 plus universities must pursue, on the one hand, reaching the unreached, and at the same time, ensuring that those students who have actually been reached get quality education, both education for all,
but quality education for all must be our motto and our government. Many ambitious things are being pursued, but I would say that in addition to make in India, digital India, skill in India, there is one takeaway that came out of Professor Summer's talk, and that is study in India. We must make an appeal to students all over the world, especially bright students, come and study in India. And that's only possible when we make our universities and our colleges centers of excellence accessible to Indians and also accessible to people all over the world. With this very inspiring message, I once again want to thank Professor Summers for giving us the opportunity of hosting him here. Thank you very much and thank you friends for attending this uh, wonderful talk. Let's make Mumbai the center of excellence and center of equity in higher education. Thank you. Dhanyavad.